four straight goals to finish, but uh, left probably too much to do. Yeah, we uh, we did it again. Um, we just got going in the last quarter, and uh, yeah, it just wasn't wasn't early enough. Um, Hawks Hawks brought their pressure. They played really really strong brand of footy in the first half. Um, we didn't we didn't adjust quick enough, and uh, they, they essentially beat us around the ball, and um, we were able to capitalise on that pretty quickly. What changes from failing to score a point for a quarter and a half to suddenly being able to almost kick a fifth goal in half a quarter? Yeah. Did you notice? Yeah, well, I think it was. It's really about our urgency and um, our ability to get into the contest. Uh, and I, I think it clicked in the in the last quarter, and I'm not, I wasn't really pleased with that third quarter. I was. Um, we didn't really show our our true our true game and our true brand of footy and. Um, that's what's so it's so hard to um, sit here right now and and see what we did in the last quarter. Um, and if we produce that type of football, we know we can beat anyone, and um, we know that. And but if you leave it to chance, we um, the games the games in the balance. And um, to Hawthorne's credit, they they took their chances in that first half. Coming into yep. tonight, you were the highest-scoring second-half team. Yep. Tonight, it was obviously left incredibly late. Yeah. The last seven or eight minutes. What, what do you actually do to, to bring it forward? Yeah, we. It's it's going to be it's it's a hard one because we actually the last two weeks we've it's essentially been the same story. Um, so we we've got to go to work on that as a as a team and as coaches and and work out how we can. Um, uh, allow our players to play that way f earlier, um, but we know we know we're good enough. And <laughs> again, that's why um, I sit here laughing. But it's it's not a laughing matter. I, I know we're good enough, and it's disappointing. But um, we've got to find a way to do it for for longer. Obviously, the, the Hawks are a good side, but what, what's going wrong for you in, in a quarter like that in the third? Is, is, it, is it a lack of dare going into your shells a bit or going away from structures? Or? Yes, essentially, we, we probably just don't give ourselves the chance to play our brand of footy in that third quarter. Um, we, you look at the um, the kicks and, and handballs and, you, and I think, oh, well, 50 kicks, 34 handballs in the third quarter, that's, that's about right. 47 kicks, 31 handballs in the last. It's, it's very similar, but... Um, going forward for us is is important and essentially we didn't go forward so um, and Hawthorne are a bloody good defensive team and you just can't you can't allow them to dictate Jack Siebel Reese um, yep. he, he looked proppy during the night he was limping in the first quarter he had a heavy bandage on his right knee and his night ends with the, the left yep. hand was, was he right to go like did he how close did he come to yeah well, I, I thought Jack that to be honest, he rolled his ankle pretty pretty badly in that first quarter. Um, he, he soldiered on really well. He, he's the captain of the side. He put himself in the middle of the ground, um, got us going uh, at, at, at periods there, um, leading into half time. So um, yeah, he, he's he's a bit worse for wear right now. But um, essentially, he was he was a bit proppy because he actually hurt himself and um, didn't want to. Just sit, and he, he played played his part, and we put him in positions where we thought he could succeed. But um, yeah, the, the hammy at the end, we, I don't know how bad it is, but um, he he couldn't be he couldn't play at the game. So. so the knee wasn't a major issue though going into the game. Like he was nah. okay. He wasn't in any doubt. No, nah, no, nah, Jack was fine, mate. Jack was fine. Like I spoke at length just before you um, about the standard of the game, and you said it was quite poor, and I guess he had a lot of points. But his main point was that he wanted the umpires to pay more holding the ball, uh, incorrect disposal, and he thought that that impacted on the poor quality of the game. I guess, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, that's, that's a hard one for me to comment on. Um, pretty much being worried about what we, what we were doing and, and how we were going about it. So that I'll have to go have a look at the game. Um, it wasn't a great game, to be fair, Dinkum, but um, I thought the last quarter was a good contest. Um, 
So, yeah, you can read into it what you, what you want, but um, I, I just thought our standard, the footy wasn't up to scratch, and um, that's where that's where I sit on it. How do you expect Zebra to be available next week? Like, how, where's he at with his ankle, the hammy? Yeah, well, his, his ankle seems fine, but I've got no idea, mate. He's, um, don't know how bad the hammy is. It was bad enough to keep him out, so that's not a great sign for Jack, but yeah, um, it's a little bit disappointing, but look, we we got going. Um, again, the, again, the kids stood up again. Um, some really strong performances down back from a number of our defenders, and, and Walks probably played his best game for us, um, which was really pleasing. Lukey Mack played well, and number of guys um, continue to play good footy. It's just, we're just not doing it for long enough. Ben Cummington, that back issue, two weeks now. Yeah. What's going on there? Yeah, well, we, it's a pain in the butt, to be honest. Um, it's uh, it's not, not ideal for Ben, it's not ideal for us. We, he looked really good uh, at a point during the week. Um, did a little bit of a run around and, and kick and seemed like he was improving, but just woke up and it's just not, um, to the standard, and we can't we can't roll him out there and give him the best chance of playing when he can't um, bend down. So um, he's improving, and it's been a gradual improvement, but it's just not to the standard he can get to to play footy. What, what actually has happened? Is he just lower back issue? And it's just restricting. Yeah, it's just spasms? a bit of is it yeah, it's a bit of a nerve impingement, which is not doesn't sound like much, but um, when it's on you know, your kicking side, and it it just inhibits you so much and. Uh, and Ben's, he, he pushes through a fair bit, Ben, but must be in a bit of pain. Do you know when he did it? Like, did he do it in training? Was it in the game two weeks ago? No, he woke up with it a couple of weeks ago, yeah, and it's essentially hasn't got any better. So, yeah, uh, like we're, we're doing everything we possibly can, and he has improved, as I said, but it just wasn't good enough for today. How did you see Ben Brown's night? Yeah, well, I, th I thought uh, the Hawks did a pretty good job. Um, they were certainly really physical with him and um, did a good job of um, keeping him away from, from marking contests. And um, I thought Ben got going when we got going, um, essentially at the end there and contested really strongly. So yeah, it was, I think it was a down night for a few guys, um, but did we give him the best chance? Probably not.